Outstanding Citizen Award. Dedicated in giving, this individual over a number of years has given freely of time, talents, and resources to make the Charlevoix area a better place to live. The Outstanding Citizen Award recognizes someone who goes above and beyond in making sure that Charlevoix is a great community on all levels. Bev Boss is an outstanding candidate for this. She does a lot of work with her church at the Community Reform Church. She does a lot of activities with dealing, especially with the seniors, with Meals on Wheels. She runs the Community Christmas Project. She is hands-on behind the Community Food Pantry. And those are just the major ones. She really spends a lot of time making sure that anyone who has any needs in our community is taken care of. And whether it's something that she can accomplish or she can help facilitate getting a result, that's her. She's really a spectacular woman and she's really an asset to Charlevoix. And, and she loves people. She worked here at the school for years and uh, after she retired she just still had to be people around her. So she just goes from one job to another. It's been my pleasure to have known Bev for two years now uh, since I became the director. One of the first people I met was Bev. Uh, Bev is the chair of the Charlevoix County Senior Center. Um, she heads that board and all of those activities, so she's been very integral uh, with the Commission on Aging Programs for Seniors at the Charlevoix Center. Um, not only is she the chair of the board, but she also volunteers. She acts as a receptionist for us and greeting the se uh, seniors when they come in each day and uh, making sure that their visit is um, friendly, warm, and uh, enjoyable for them places uh, great importance on knowing people by their name, calling them by their name, and making them feel special. I think it's someone that, that becomes engaged in a lot of community projects, be they local or, or at the state level, and uh, they do that in the, uh, for the long haul, and uh, they don't limit it to one specific area of, of interest. It's a lot of time on different projects at home that people don't realize how much work goes into the Christmas project, you know, over and above what they see at the distribution point. The Christmas project uh, with, with the uh, Charlevoix County, uh, people are represented through the food pantries, churches, uh, families take upon families that have registered with them that they have a certain need. The unique thing about it is that they actually do shop for that family. Uh, we have a, a list of families and kids and ages and people come forward and do that. And we uh, have the distribution on a, a Friday in December before Christmas where we will provide them with uh, a meal, dry goods, uh, and other clothes and they get to go shopping through the toys. You know, undoubtedly somebody comes up last minute that, oh, I didn't sign up, can I? And she will do whatever she can to make sure that every child in this town has something on Christmas morning. Not going to disappoint anybody, even if it stresses her out. She doesn't, she doesn't care. Her heart is for the children and for the people in this town. And she sees being out and about all the time, she finds, you know, different people in that that need, are needy and knows what to do to get things for them. She's right there to help those that can't drive, can't get to shop. Um, she's concerned about the people in the nursing homes that, you know, that I've got to call so-and-so and take her out to lunch. I mean, that's the kind of person she is. I mean, she's, you can't even reach her. When you call her at home, you'll get her husband. He's like her answering machine. <laughs> so she's very compassionate. She. She reaches out to the least of these, the people that would be shut-ins or at the senior center. Um, she's there to help them whatever they want. And like I said, she leaves by eight o'clock in the morning. She's gone and she's been retired for a long time. <laughs> we cook on Wednesday night. We try to keep it simple, soup and salad. <laughs> Bev, when Bev works with us, she always comes up, well, I'll make this dessert and that dessert. When she comes in, she comes in with a huge tray as of it. Different things. Different. She's been, the menu explodes. So, so if they don't like the food, they'll have the desserts. But 
Everything is in abundance. That's right. Her recipes are for 100 plus. <laughs> <laughs>